Hey, hi, in this video, I will show you how to deploy custom script VM extension on Azure VM with using policy. So here, basically, it is an automation of Azure VM with using your own custom script. Custom script is nothing but, you know, you can write any kind of logic which will do the real-time automations on Azure VM. So we will see that, you know, how to achieve that Azure VM uh, automations with using custom defined policy. The policy which will actually has an effect of deploy if not exist, which will actually deploys a custom script extension on the, you know, the Azure VM. And in turn, it does, it does actually execute the script and, uh, you know, achieves the required automations on the Azure VM actually. So here, as you see here in the orange box, that is our Azure tenant. In that Azure tenant, we're gonna create a custom script extension policy or basically a, a, a policy with the effect of deploy if not exist and that will deploy the custom script extension on the Azure VM, right? So we will define the Azure policy something like this uh, and you know, we're gonna assign that Azure VM policy on the subscription. So here, my subscription is nothing but this black color, um, you know, the black color rectangle is my subscription. In that subscription, we're gonna assign that policy uh, and that policy is with the effect of deploy if not exist. So it, it is remediable. So we're going to create a remediation task as well. Now within that, uh, I know the subscription, we do need to create, um, you know, the one Azure storage blob or basically a storage account first and then create a blob. And then blob should be storing the script, the .exe file or the RPM file as a blob in that storage account. And you need to create the um, you know, the direct SAS URL of these files and should be defined in the in the custom script VM extension policy, right? So I will show you that and how does that policy looks like and I will gonna walk you through that as well. So now once the policy is assigned, what happens is, you know, so once the policy is assigned, um, you need to wait for more than like one hour, two hour, then only the any Azure policies, um, you know, app you know uh, applied on the Azure subscriptions, you know, that would, do the job as expected after a certain time. So that's the reason why I recommend you to, um, you know, see the result after a certain amount of time, maybe 30 minutes or 40 minutes approximately, uh, once the policy is assigned on the subscription. So once that is done, um, as soon as somebody creates a resource group and creates a virtual machine in your subscription, this deploy if not policy will come in picture. It will get invoked by the resource creation action and it will start to deploy that custom script extension on the Azure VM and uh, that will automatically do the required job. So the flow is, you know, this policy assignment will kick in, um, you know, that creation of custom script extension on the Azure VM and it does execute those uh, scripts. And how does that, it, you know, connect it? That is basically, you know, in the Azure VM script, basically, you know, we're gonna define like, you know, how it, it is here, it actually uh, downloads and, and you know, so it will execute it. So that's what it happens within the VM. Yeah. So what happens is, you know, so as soon as uh, this policy tries to create a Azure VM custom extension on the Azure VM, right, as a part of VM creation process, um, you know, the script gets executed within the machine. So in that script, you will actually write a logic like it will actually download the required .txt file, RPM file. Basically, it will execute a predefined or, you know, well-architected, uh, you know, script, I can say, and you're going to achieve the required automations, okay? So, this is how we're going to see, like, you know, how we can use the deploy if not exist custom policy, which will deploy a custom script extension on your Azure VM. Now, let me take you to the my Azure subscription, basically. So, this is my Azure tenant, right? So, whatever you have seen, that is my Azure tenant. In that one, we have a subscription. Within this subscription, I'm going to go to the Azure policy. So in this Azure policy, I have created a custom Azure policy uh, with the effect of deploy if not exist. So let me take you to that. If I go to the policy filtering, in that one, we're going to go to the custom and then choose the a policy that is custom script extension PS. So this is a definition, you know, which I have created. I'm going to share this definition in the in the video's description through uh, my GitHub repository link. Anyways, you can copy from there and try to use it. So this is a custom script extension which is built for this particular purpose and uh, currently we are testing this on a, you know the basically azure windows vm but similarly it can be done for linux machines as well 
So here, this is the you know property as you see here. So this is very simple. I'm going to walk you through this one. So at a high level, so this is a purely you know the uh, you know the policy definition as you see here. And there are metadata like you know system data information, ID types, blah blah right. So these are all the informations. But the important you know the important thing is you know comes that is which is important. Uh, basically, the business logic will be written in a policy rule block. Okay, so I'm going to minimize this uh, metadata that is category created by created on um, updated by something like that and the description as you see so this is the policy type is custom so those are all metadata are basically properties of the Azure policy right this is the version so which can also maintain the version as well and then within the Azure policy so it has a two block basically one is uh, if block which will check the conditions and the then block is actually does the certain things when certain you know the conditions are met. So the conditions will be written in this if block if you see here so it has the all of in the sense all of in the sense if all of the conditions are true then only it will go to the next then like that so first one it checks if the field resource type right the field uh, of, of resource type is equal to this resource then only then this statement is true and then the next statement is basically a list of uh, statement again so any of the statement is true, then it will go to the, that option like that. So here it will check whether the OS is Windows or is it, is it something like in another fashion you are checking whether it's a Windows machine. So then only it will go to the then block. So then block, if you see here, so the policy rule is constructed of two important blocks that is if and then, right? So if I, if I select the policy rule, it has if and then. Now we go inside the then and try to explore the then. In the then first, property itself is, you know, the effect. Effect is deploy if not exist. If that configuration is not exist on a virtual machine, you do you do this kind of deployment like that. So the detail is nothing but it's going to check the virtual machine extension. So virtual machine extension is a capability on Azure VM with, through which, you know, you can do a certain configurations on the, you know, on the virtual machine, right? So in that one, custom script extension is a one kind of capability that Microsoft provides you on Azure VM through which you can run your custom script, which will do automation or basically configuration automations, right? And then, um, so in the in the existence condition, so it's gonna check the, whether that extension type is a custom script extension. Remember that Azure provides two types of extension, that is custom script extension and built-in extensions. Custom script extension is, as the name says, you're gonna execute the custom script, which is we are doing in this demo. Normal extension is nothing but, you know, Azure pre-provided extension, which you can use it. Remember that in one virtual machine, you're going to create only one custom script extension like that. Then in the deployment, uh, so it has the properties. So, so basically, it's a uh, uh, mode is incremental. This is the template, right? Um, we go to the interesting part of this particular template that is resources. In the resources, if you see here, we are creating the virtual machine extension. So this is the type of the resource that gets deployed by this particular policy. Right. And the down the line, it has a properties, the properties, you know, so who is a publisher, what is the type of the, you know, the particular resource, right, handler type, these are all very important configuration, which you can really use it. Now, this is very, very important. So here, if you see here, so I have provided a SAS token or basically SAS URL of the blob that I have kept on a storage account. So I'm going to copy this. So if I go to the internet, it's actually downloadable, downloadable, right? So basically, this is how you know we're gonna do it, you know, in this demo. But at a very secure environment, so basically, this blob gets downloadable within the uh, virtual network of the Azure. So that is when you enable the, you know, the endpoint of the storage account. Yeah. So when you enable the endpoint of a storage account, uh, you know, VNet endpoint of the storage account. So this blob gets downloadable within that VNet. So that is a secure, by the way. And then, you know, so we are executing a PowerShell command like that. Yeah, so this is how the policy has been written. Now I'm going to take you to the my storage account. So this is the storage account I have created. And within the storage account, I have kept my script, right? That is custom script. So I'll go to the container uh, within the container. So this is the script. So I have kept the script with a name like ps.ps1, right? So if you see here ps.ps1, so that's, this is the script. So let me show you. So this is a simple PowerShell script. It is just uh, keeps a variable that is file path uh, with a content. Then it basically it's create a file called hello world.txt file and puts that file under the path that is a C temp path. So that is what this script does. We're gonna do a testing right away, right? So how did I get that SAS URL? If you click on this one, show you right away. Okay, so now this ps1.ps uh, file, if you go here, 
so there is an option called generate SAS. If you click on this one, so this is where you get that capability. That is, you can generate the SAS token according to your configuration, which you can look at here. So that is how I got this URL and I kept it in the in the settings in the file URL. Now that's all. So this is how it's very simple. And this policy is assigned on this subscription. So when this uh, assignment is targeted on the subscription, so any condition that goes inside this, uh, you know, the yeah, this is the assignment I have done. So any virtual machine that gets created within this um, subscription, you know, it will have a custom script extension. So now I will jump for creating the, you know, VM right away. And we will see, you know, if that works. So what I do is, you know, I'm going to create a virtual machine uh, right away and uh, we will see how does it goes. Now, if you see that, you know, I am creating a virtual machine with the name like um, test custom script uh, virtual machine. So I'm going to click on create. Basically, creation of virtual machine will take uh, nearby 5 to 10 minutes. Remember that once the virtual machine is created, you need to wait until the VM agent within the virtual machine gets ready. So then only the custom script extension gets, uh, you know, the configured on the, you know, the, uh, on the machine. So we need to wait for some more time and see if the custom script extension gets created automatically and also gets executed. So we're going to confirm that this script, so in the sense, once the custom script is, is, is ran on the virtual machine or created on the virtual machine, we're going to log in into the virtual machine and see that, you know, there should be a file with a name like hello world dot txt and uh, and that is only possible if this script is 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 executed by custom script extension so that is how the you know the you know we're gonna show you the demo here now after waiting for more than like uh, five to ten minutes of vm creation if you see here uh, into the activity log so it is uh, created at eight minutes back and then i can see that custom script extension is now being deployed on this machine and it is currently in progression so if you see here i'm just refreshing it we should see that you know the status should be provisioning succeeded which means that you know so the custom script extension is installed or configured on this uh, on this virtual machine now we can go ahead and test it if this is this has done the job that is within the c folder we should see a temp and then this file so I'm going to log into that virtual machine by using my public IP address because, um, you know, this is basically, you know, this is a, a machine with a public IP address. So I'm going to go to the RDP and uh, try to log in. And, uh, you know, by, by going into that machine, we're going to check to that folder and see if the folder exists. So, yeah, so let me log into this uh, machine first. So I'm entering the user ID and password of uh, this machine that is... Uh, you know, which I have given during the VM creation process. Right now, I'm logging in uh, into this machine and we see if that has, uh, you know, the has the file. Okay, so now I have opened the, you know, this PC and then I'm going into a C drive. Uh, within the C drive, we should see a temp folder. Uh, within the temp folder, here you go, right? So we have the text document file is being created. So this is a text file, by the way, it's still loading. So it's showing this way. But I think this is the file. Let's open this file and see the content basically. Yeah? So if I open this file right away and here you go, right? So this is our hello world, hello underscore world. And then that file contains, uh, you know, hello world. Uh, that is something, you know, we expected in the script that we have executed through the custom script extension, right? All right. So, so then here I have shown you the things need to be shown in this video. That is, you know, how to uh, run the custom script on your virtual machine with using Azure policy with FF deploy if not exist by using custom script extension capability of the Azure virtual machine, which is basically free and no, uh, basically highly reliable and been recommended for saving cost actually here. All right. So with that note, thank you very much for watching my videos. Kind request, please do subscribe my channel. That would really encourage me a lot. With that note, thank you. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.